All right, so in this reverse the string challenge, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use the for loop, which you've already seen used plenty of times in different algorithm challenges. However, this time, instead of looping from the first item in an, in an array, we're going to loop from the last item to the first item. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. So in this challenge, you're not going to use any built-in functions of split, reverse, or join but you're going to use a for loop to accomplish this. So go ahead and pause, take a look at how the for loop works, and write out some pseudocode for how you might approach this challenge. And in a moment, I'll walk you through my pseudocode. All right, so step one would be to create a reverse string variable and set it to an empty string. Next, we'll create a for loop starting with the last character and ending with the first character of the string. In the code block, we will add the current letter being looped through to the reverse string variable that we set in the beginning to an empty string. And then finally, we will return the reverse string variable. All right, so now that you have that pseudocode guidance, Try to write out some code for how you might solve this algorithm. In a few moments, I will show you my approach. All right, let's go ahead and declare a variable, reverse string, and we'll set it equal to an empty string. Next, the challenging part is we want to learn how to loop through an array from the last item to the first. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the for loop docs. And let's imagine that we have a variable numbers array. It's set equal to an array with the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let's say that we want to loop this through this array starting with the last item going to the first item and ending at the first item and log those items to the console. The way we can do this is we can say 4 using the for keyword, and we'll set i because we want to start at the last item. We'll say var of i is equal to numbers array dot length minus one. This will get us to the last item in our array. The reason why it's the length minus one is because if we were to count the items in our numbers array, we have it as a length of four. But remember, in arrays, we start counting with zero. So if we want the index of the last item in the array, we have to make sure to subtract one from the total of the length. And then our test condition is as long as i is greater than or equal to zero, then we're going to go into our code statement. And whenever we finish our code statement, we want to decrement i by 1 because we're heading towards 0 to get to the first item in our array. And now we'll just simply log to the console numbers array at the current item being looped through. And the result is 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, we get the length of the array minus 1 to set the last item in the array that we're going to start with. And then our conditional is that as long as our item is greater than or equal to 0, which would be the first item in the array, we run our code block. All right, so now let's go ahead and head back to our code and put this into practice. We'll use the for keyword var of i is equal to string.length minus 1. And our condition is going to be as long as i is greater than or equal to 0, we will then decrement i by 1. So now in our statement, we mentioned that we simply want to take reverse string, and we simply want to add to its value the character 
of the current item being looped through. And at the end, we simply want to return our reverse string variable. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see how this worked. All right, the results are RAC and RAB for our test cases, as we saw in our examples. All right, hope you enjoyed that challenge, and we'll see you in the next.